Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name is Anachi Sasuke, and welcome to Metroid Dread. Sorry, I just leaned closer to the microphone. I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do this, because as you can see, I did start playing it. Because I thought, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time, and maybe I won't really be able to enjoy it if I have to provide color commentary while I'm playing it. But I've also only played less than an hour, and I did bring all of the stuff with me to my friend's apartment for the weekend that I needed to do this. I've got the capture card, I even brought my Switch dock with me, I have extra cables, an extension cord. So, I figured if not playing a whole series of it, I would at least do an episode to see what you guys think, because I know I did Metroid Zero Mission, and I know I did Metroid Fusion, and I don't really have a reliable way to do Metroid 2, and I don't want to do Super Metroid because I hate the wall jumps in Super Metroid. God do I hate the wall jumps in Super Metroid. But, so far all I had really done in this game was, I dealt with the first Emmy, I'm running for my life from the second one, I've not really accomplished pretty much anything. I did get an extra um, energy bar from an amiibo though, which I will probably do again. Metroid, a virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created for the- Samus is the one saying this, but they didn't give her a voice. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for their ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked severe, several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Ex-Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism in indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even evade access to the host's memories. Ex-parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate, and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed to be extinct. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. I'm not even going to try to come up with a voice for Samus, because... To me, Samus' voice is Jennifer Hale, and all she did was do grunting of pain noises. And I don't know offhand the name of the lady who voiced Samus and Metroid Other M, but I don't blame her for that. I blame the writing and the directions for that. I think that lady could have been a good Samus if she had been given the chance. Sorry, um, the only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, the baby, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. Its ability was tested immediately when I went to a biologic space laboratory's BSL research station to investigate a distress signal. I hope Nightmare is not in this game. I hope there's not another SAX in this game. There, I battled many powerful X-Forms, including the SAX, which was the X imitating, mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X-Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. Does it count as eliminating the X-Menace on the planet if you eliminated the entire freaking planet? I, I don't know. After that, the X and Metros were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received the mysterious video transmission. I also, I thought that the Galactic Federation was going to be hunting Samus down because of the way Fusion ended. Because the end of Fusion made it sound like they were going to put her through a bunch of trials and stuff, and then just decide, You cost us a bunch of money by deleting all of our illegal Metroids AGAIN! Ah! But apparently they're still working together. I guess they have to, since nothing can survive the X but Samus. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. Uh, 
It was called ZDR. Who called it that? If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of 7 EMMI to investigate. Domo Arigato 7 Roboto Domo by the Exilian Star Corporation. An EMMI is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. Their incredible, incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. How long did it take? What is happening on ZDR? Mm. Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it's up to me to go down there and find out. Where is that amiibo anyway? I'm gonna need it. You can call me a wuss if you want, but I almost got killed for messing up the uh, the melee counter, and I don't I don't want to do it again. Plain and simple. I don't think I need to use the Emmy amiibo though, because I'm I'm not really hurting for missiles. I'm hurting for health. The reason my game file is at 45 minutes is only because I got lost a lot. In terms of progress, I've only got like maybe 20 minutes of progress because I just got lost. There's also mild voice acting. I wasn't paying attention to that when I first heard it because I, I just decided to play 15 minutes of the game at like 11.30 at night and all I really cared about was feeling the controls. But I had missed what he just said, what uh, Adam just said. It sounds like they're not paying her well enough for what should they're sending her here for, so it's entirely possible that this is a get rid of Samus mission and the Galactic Federations are just awful because we already knew that. From the amount of times they've just been like, whoops, secret Metroids, ha ha ha. We're totally not using these for the military. <laughs> I don't think the Galactic Federation is good people. It's got good people in it, but it's not run by good people. Also, what the heck happened to your suit? That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is not really good. Any objections, lady? I like that they decided to just have it be a computer voice instead of him just waking up and having Adam's voice from other M. That would have been weird. Were the Chozo this tall in Metroid Prime? I know they were ghosts, but... This dude implies that the statues that have the power-ups are just life-size, which is uncomfortable. Also, the HD rumble is going off for all of this, so that's cool. I kind of thought that the HD rumble was just not a thing anybody was going to care about anymore. Also, that looks like a super missile? So she fired a super missile at this dude's face and all it did was chip the eye armor.
to me it sounded like it said Iran send your men but it also looked like towards the end there as she was passing out that it was like a weird flashback so it's possible she recognized him but I don't know I don't really know a whole lot about Metroid lore I've I beat Zero Mission and I, I beat Super Metroid and I beat Fusion for the first time on my channel actually pew 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 um let's just do that right now Okay. Like I said, you can call me a wuss if you want to, but I need it. Anyway, I, I've i not played the whole series. I've not beaten very many. I didn't beat the second game. Ow. Rude. But I beat the third one and the fourth one and the first one. I don't know why I had an extra jump. Uh, eh? I do have Samus Returns for my D my my 2DS. I just hadn't beaten it because the controls, the DS would controls pretty much just like this one, but for the size of my hands versus the size of my DS, I couldn't handle it. That pun was an accident, but um. I want to beat that game, but it makes my knuckles hurt. Ammo already at maximum capacity. Whee! I also like that there's there's things just running around in the background. Also, those things flying back there. A lot of stuff happens in the background. Achoo. Also, are they never going to question the fact that this is a planet they had never heard of, but it's already, like, tailor-made to the way Samus works? So, you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a choice of the attacker's identity is not yet clear. It also sounds like from what I've like heard and read about Samus Returns, that when Mercury Steam made that game, they retconned a little bit of stuff to make it make sense, like... I heard they added Ridley to the end, even though he wasn't in the original game. I heard they added this Chozo guy to the end, even though that wasn't a thing. I thought all the Chozo were extinct. I don't know why I thought that, but I was given no reason to think that they were still kicking. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZBR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Yes, I would like to save my progress. Wee! 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 Another thing about doing, like, if I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it, I'm wondering if I should abandon my other file so that everything that happens to me is fresh. Because when I did Zero Mission, I I had beaten that game before. And same when I did Fusion, I had at very least been to the final boss before. But this game is totally new to me, and I'm wondering if I should just... These things! These things are why I actually use the amiibo. 
because I kept messing up the melee counter for that thing and it almost killed me. But look how much better that wall jump is. I can just consistently do that. If the wall jumping in Super Metroid was as good as that, then I would have done that on my channel first. But it's not, and that's pretty much the entire reason I didn't do that. But it looks like I can't wall jump off of that one part up there, probably on purpose. Come at me, bro. It's a lot easier to mess up the melee counter. For me, at least, it's a lot easier to mess up the melee counter now that they immediately do it again if you if you mess that up. Because then, I guess, on the 3DS one, they couldn't do but so much with, like... Oh. Can I help you? Why is the... If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates there's a hidden item is there. Okay. Wait, what? Remaining markers. I can put markers on the map? What? Man, I'm stupid. Uh... Missiles! Those orbs kind of remind me of uh, God of War, the, the fourth one, Dad of Boy. No! For what little of the game I've been played, I hope there's not as many of those, like, you're sliding and there's nothing you can do about it, haha! <laughs> I hope there's not very many of those because that, that's awful. Also, what happened to this guy? I assume that Chozo dude happened to this guy because, like... Samus got her... <laughs> Samus got her power-ups choked out. Okay, when's the... Huh? Seacrest out! Okay, not that one. So, these things, they look like the weird brain computers from the Metroid Prime trilogy, which in turn makes me wonder if that's, if it's just more of Mother Brain but without sentience. Because I know that the Prime games are supposed to happen in between Metroid 1 and 2. But then that also is like, why did the Galactic Federation have a whole bunch of Mother Brains after they knew Mother Brain was evil? Why was that? Why was that a thing? And also, what was the deal with the? Fuck. Uh. Fire. Ooh. Okay, the last time I messed that up, I, I died. I just straight up died. But this time, I, I did not panic. No, that's a lie. I definitely panicked. Because I was trying not to use heavy curse words for this let's play, and I already messed that up. Uh... Is there anything that way? It's just that. There's nothing else back there. I don't like that. I don't know if that just means that door's not going to close anymore. I'm over here now.
Yeah. I wonder what that does, like, in, in the lore. I wonder what that does. Did I shoot that? I shoot you. Weird wall brain thing. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, it's already time for the next one. Oh god. What if we don't? Greetings. Oh, the beeps. Not. No. <laughs> Nothing's here. No. Nothing's here. Please leave. Leave faster. Also, thing in the background. You gonna have me run from that thing immediately into invisible something? Rude. Yeah, more missiles. I don't know what the deal is with these doors though. Adam, my dude, that was terrifying. What's up? Why are you even, why are you already hardwired into the planet? Does that mean you were just hardwired into my arm? Like Cortana? encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all enemy will be possible. Why are they hackable? Why did you make indestructible robot surveys with like stabby faces? Why are they hackable if they're made of the toughest stuff in the universe? You couldn't have given them tougher, like, chips? Were all of the Emmys just like, were all the good chips being used for cryptocurrency so they suck? Emmy send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon Yay! detecting vibrations, an Emmy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens, otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. They're picking up good vibrations. The you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the enemy zone exits. You will be trapped inside. Is it not weird that this planet you've never heard of that didn't have these robots until you sent them here have doors specifically for being able to get away from them? That's not weird to you. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. The enemy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. An enemy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. Adam, why do you know this? I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Yes, I would like to save my progress. But also, there's just 
so many questions, and I feel like I'm not going to get any answers. Oh boy, another one. But that's not currently my problem. Alright. And I can't get it because I can't morph ball. Oh, right. I don't want to be here. Well, this, this feels like I need an ability. That's, that's where I thought I was. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. What is that? Oh no. Uh. Uh. Nope, 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 nope. No, not the wall jump, the bamboozle! The wall jump does not <laughs> does not lend itself to the bamboozle, oh god! No! What? That's not where you were, you asshole! Frick, 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 frick! No, I hit it! Fuck you! You said when it flashes! I got it when it flashes! Don't you give me that. Where is it? Where are you, you beep boop bendy bastard? Nope! I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. Not that way. Ah! Door! Door, 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 door. Ah! 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 door rippled, I thought it was still coming. Nope, no more fall. Get out of here. There's an energy tank, but no more ball. No, no. <laughs> Why can't you jump in the right direction? <laughs> Blub, blub, blub. I don't know if the, I'm assuming the microphone is picking up the button mashing, and if that's the case, I apologize. It's a very good microphone, which makes stuff like that difficult to deal with. Kaboom! Water level go shifty shift.
right now, what? Adam! There's Chozo in this room. Were there Chozo in the other rooms? Right, this isn't Adam. But still, were there Chozo in the other rooms? Purple. Yes, I would like to save the game. Thank you for asking. Uh, wait, on the map. The yellow rooms are saving facilities. The purple rooms contain transportation devices. Okay, so if I get over there, then it'll take me someplace. Bye, me. No, no. Okay. They take so long to rev that up. That's why I kept missing the timing. Okay, I got those missiles. Uh, what now? Other than you being a rude asshole. Should I, should I be leaving? I can't, I can't go that way. Or that way. I don't... What is this? Right, that's the thing that I can't get to because once again, Morph Ball. There are so many things I need the Morph Ball for and I ain't got it, so I just can't. Game saved. Now, if I remember right, I'm supposed to go down into the wilder and go this way. Yeah, because, yeah. Yup, 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 yup. The last thing I did was I somehow ended up near that thing, but I wasn't able to actually get to it. So I don't know what happens when I get there because the, close, the closest I got was here and then I stopped because I didn't know what to do. And even then, it took me 30,000 years to get that far because I kept getting lost because of the panic running away from the Emmy. And I don't know what these things are, but they do do damage. Ah, uh, dude. A part of the reason that I was on the fence about doing this, like, I was already, like, not sure if I wanted to do it because I wanted to be able to experience the game without having to talk through it. But I also... Also, was it words? I heard that people have been stuck on some of the bosses for literal hours, and I do not have the technology to edit around something like that. The closest I can get to editing around that is by not recording the struggle, but then I wouldn't really know when to turn the recording back on. Also, I may not have needed to come down here, or this I think this might be actually exactly where I needed to go. But... If I get stuck on, a stuck on a boss fight for hours, all I can really do is record the entire struggle and hope that I succeed. Y'all really got me feeling some type of way about the absence of the Morph Ball, though. Like, I very, very obviously need it, like, now. But it ain't happening. Yeah, okay, I was probably supposed to go down instead of up. That's what my mistake was. Yeah, because that's there. There it is. I'm just stupid. Like I said. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. And live. No! Oh, God. How dare you! Oh, I did it! Uh. Is it coming? I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Or is it done? Okay. 
Oh, I'm not out yet, am I? Ooh. Whoo! What? Oh, I'm. I don't. I don't need a thing. Okay. Uh. That room is the icy ice. Don't want that. Uh. That's how we say I love you in Bounty Hunter. It goes bang, bang, fuck you. Focus this beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Now I can open other doors. I still can't get to a lot of them because I can't more ball. Like if I could more ball, this thing could heal me. Isn't that right, my dude? Why? Still though, if the if the one Chozo on this planet wants me to be the dead, why are there still a bunch of statues holding and power ups that only I can use? He are clearly he already had a charge beam. Unless he just wants my help with something, but there are, there are better ways to get my help than to, like, choke hold my life force out. Fuck. Gotcha. Okay, we're back at the beginning of the game now. Uh, we're ba This is basically where I was on my last file. I'm pretty much already caught up to the, what little progress I had. So I guess at this point, I since now everything will be new to me, actually, ow. There was one other thing I managed to do, and I, I could not tell you how I got to it. The obvious thing is just to look at the map. Energy tank. Wait, so if that's the energy tank and it's purple, what was the other thing? Can I get that? I can't! I've missed this before. I didn't even. Wow! What did it? Wow! Wow! Can't jump that far. Look at me! Oi! There's also a running version of that, but there hasn't really been any call for it. Right. Thanks for the life force, my dude. Sploosh. You can do it from walls? I didn't know you could do it from walls. I thought that if I was on a wall, I was just boned. I kind of feel bad for the little slime dudes. They don't get to do anything except die. I don't want to go in there. Where am I going? Uh, it looks like there's an item in there. I can't get it. That's the one. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I think I gotta get here. Yes, because it says what kind of door it is. Save the game. I might as well see if I can get back to like exactly the amount of progress I had. One of my friends just booted up the game. If I do uh, actually play through the whole game as a let's play, I don't know how often there would be episodes. I I know it's in my best interest to try to upload it as often as possible because I know that there are plenty of other YouTubers who have probably already beaten the game in Twitch streams at this point. Even uh, the one doggo VTuber good as girl has been playing it and she she did like a five and a half hour stream of it but i'm not those people i have other things to do i don't know offhand what these other things are but there sure are other things either way though rather than trying to compete with the other people who are playing this game it would probably be in my best interest of my sanity to have like a set day that i do it and it might it might be mondays i'm not 100 percent sure if it'll be mondays but it might be mondays since homestuck's no longer mondays but anyway, uh, another Emmy Zone, yay! Also this. That implies that if I want another one of the beams, I'm gonna have to fight the brain thing.
Do I gotta fight a brain? I don't know. Um, okay. I, 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 I don't know where I was, where, what? Power beam. Power beam? You mean just door? I feel like you just mean door. Total recharge station. Question mark, question mark. I think I gotta get up there. I heard that. I heard that. Take him on the right way. Missile tank. Why is it telling me about it if I already got it? Yeah, I can't go in there. I don't know what that's about. Wait, 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 wait. What the heck is that? Yo. Yo. What is the... Maybe I gotta be invisible to go in here? But I guess I'll go the right way since whatever the hell that was just happened. Adam was shaking. Okay, nothing. Fine, I ain't wanna talk to you anyway. Charge door. All right. Yeah, more missiles. I mean, I guess if I'm trying to be exactly where my other file was. Come over here, you big bastard. <clears throat> Thanks, Emmy. Now I have more missiles. Uh, they just throw beach balls made out of snot. Get out of here with that. Gross. I don't like those guys. Whee! Ow. What's inside door number whatever? A tunnel. With lava. I don't think I want to go in there. I'm pretty sure that's the die. Unless it's not? Okay. I totally thought that room was the die. Am I still going the right way? Did I miss something? Well, I saved the game. There we go. Seriously though, why do all of these mechanisms work with your arm cannon? I can only assume it's because it's a Chozo arm cannon, but at the same time, why would this one Chozo dude have left a bunch of power-ups sitting around? But again, if he wanted your help, he could have got your help without all of the different things he's done to achieve it. Sabotaging the robots, making the robots try to kill you, powering you down, making you have to get more power-ups, whatever the hell that invisible thing is. There, there, there were steps, is what I'm saying. There were steps, and none of them were these. Bro. 
Get your snot out of here. Oh, all right. Oh, I can shoot the snot. That's a statement. Did I just deflect the snot? You have more words? Do you have words? You do! Uploading data. There was no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of it was a warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. Interesting. You have seen the warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone lead you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first enemy. It is the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an enemy is destroyed. There are six remaining enemy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Save the game! <clears throat> And we are now caught up to where I am on my other file. So, I'm going to stop the video here. And I guess I'll just come back around to it later on. And from this point on, everything will be new to me. So, if you like this video, a like and a subscribe will be groovy. If you didn't, you don't need to do either one of those things. If you want to click the bell, you can do that as well so that you're notified of future uploads. And I will see you all in the next one. Later!